So starting off at the front of the van, I've got the over cab bed and the cab. The van runs off a Fiat Ducato 2.3 litre engine with 140 brake horsepower. Take you around the van. It does have alloy wheels as well. We've got the fresh water inlet. And we've also got the hookup point here. As we move back, there's a the side door to the garage. We go down to the rear of the van. This van does have a reversing camera on it as well. So it's nice and easy when you're reversing. Onto the side, we've got the other side garage. Give you a look in here. Got an LED strip down the bottom. A bit of shelving in the back as well. Plenty of space in here. Um, you can fit two full-size motorbikes in there. Uh, not a problem, so it's perfect for any any sporting equipment that needs to go in the back of here. So, I'll take you inside the van. So we've got an awning light as you come in. The, go the door as you come in is on a gas strut as well. And you're greeted as you come in by a nice LED strip light on the side. We've got a mirror to the left with the TV bracket as well. So the TV bracket is factory fitted and uh, you can decide the height on that. Go up or down. And then to the right of the van, we go to the cab. So these seats do swivel in the front. They've also got a leatherette finish to them. Also got a leather steering wheel on the Fiat and then we've got the reversing camera just in the corner. And then just above, we've got the bed. Huge, huge bed. Nice. Soft touch headliner, uh, we've got windows and a nice roof light as well, which gives the van a nice light feel. Ladder's just there, so the ladder just hooks on so you can climb up. And as we go to the left of the van, we've got the side bench and the, uh, the extra two seat belts as well, so for your dinette. Uh, the table in the centre, so this table at the minute is kind of put away, does extend. Um, and underneath there are supports for that so you can kind of have it however you want uh, in whatever and it does it does turn as well swivel around on the side we've got the lovely like nice side side bench this is bigger than on some of our other models so you've got enough room to kind of lie down and put your feet up so moving back down the van we've also got cupboards all the way around it which is nice for all your storage needs Big huge cupboard just to this side. So just as you come in through the door, we've also got the kitchen. So we've got a stainless steel sink, three burner hob. Again, more storage above the kitchen as well. And then underneath, we've got the drawers. These are soft closed drawers, and it's got your layout ready for all your cutlery. There we go. And then as you can see underneath as well, we've also got more LED lights. So then as we move back down the van, we've got our tech tower. This is the tech tower. So we've got an oven up top, as you can see. And then a huge fridge freezer. So you can, you can fit plenty of stuff in there, no problem. And then freezer up top. So as we go down the van, head into the, into the washroom. Got a toilet there, sink, and then the shower. Plenty of room in this shower. I'm six foot one, and uh, there's not a problem with headroom in here. Plenty of light in there as well. And we've got the mirror to the side, and the mirror in front as well. And coming back out, right in front of the washroom, we've got the big wardrobe. We've also got the rail at the top so you can hook all your hangers on there and put clothes on there. And then a lot of storage at the bottom. The other nice feature with this van, so we've, we've got kind of a little a little doorway through to the garage. So if you ever keep anything in there for easy access, you can just get straight into the garage that way. Um, and then above that, we've got the, the rear double bed. So the ladders are tucked away, just there. That leads through to the garage. They can slide through, hook them on onto the top bed. So right onto, onto the back bed, we've got 
three shelves around the back. And we've got reading lights in the corner as well. Another roof light. There is also a curtain that you can pull across to separate it. Then we'll head back down the van. So this is our top top spec van. So as you can see, it is it is packed with all the luxuries and it is very well finished. I'll take you back outside.